Hey guys, Super Easy Films here, and today I have a new video for you guys showing you guys how to use Thrivacy on or in Cinema 4D. And yeah, so let's just get started. And I'm basically going to show you guys the basics on how to use it. And so basically, how we're going to start stuff is I'm going to add a plane, and yeah, so I'm just going to bring it up on top of the floor and gonna next you can add any shape that you want or object I mean and uh, you can pick an object like a cube or a sphere cylinder tube whatever or you go to MoGraph and you can pick like a Motex or something like that and I'll show you both actually so I'll have a Motex I'll move this over and I'll have a cube which is going to be right next to it so there you go so and as you can see I have two objects I need to bring this up a little bit so coming to the ground so there you go I got two objects one uh, cube and one more graph text let me actually change the text there's no point but just for fun to, I'll actually just put super whatever uh, it won't it wouldn't fit so I might as well put super and so, anyways, now I got uh, super text. Gotta bring it up some more since it's past the floor. What we're gonna do next is go to our plugins. Wait, let's select our Motex actually. And go to Throwsy. Then click Throwsy itself. And now this is where you can customize the way you want it to be broken down. So the pieces is depending how many pieces you want per letter or shape. So for this piece, I'll put like 10 because it's going to be, it's actually going to break down 10 pieces in each letter. So there you go. So the dynamics, here's where you can customize when you want it to happen. Immediately is when it'll actually happen. So the moment you click play, it's going to break down without nothing messing with it. So if we change that to on collision, once something hits it or is dropped on top of it, it will break apart. So that's what I usually use because I usually use something to break down. And material and bake, I haven't really used and they don't really do anything special. So just key, just deal with the thrusty tab and the dynamics should be good. So now we're going to break it down. And as you can tell, thrust is breaking out each letter. So there you go. So once you're done with that, you can click hex on that. And up here, you click play. Nothing breaks down because once again, I told you I put it to on collision. But if you were to put it on immediately, it would have already broken down. So cube, we'll just go ahead and do the same thing. And if you want the same effect to happen on the next piece, and you can just click execute last plugin, it'll just bring up the same one. But if you had a whole bunch of plugins, there's a difference. So for this, I'll just put 30 since it's a small shape. We'll put this on collision as well and break now. <clears throat> so we'll wait for that to load. And it's done. And it usually f finishes really quickly, so no need to wait there, depending on your computer speeds. So right now, nothing happened, so what we're going to do to fix that is actually to grab another object, and what we're going to get here is, let me see, I'll get a spear, and if we were to actually just leave the spear here, and we were to change it to a rigid body, and by going to do that, you go to simulation tags, and click rigid body, and what that makes it, the, the, what is it called, spear, it makes it a solid object, so if anything were to touch it, or around it, it would just implode or whatever because it's inside the actual letters as you can see so if I were to click play, it doesn't actually explode at the beginning but once I click play, it would explode but I actually have to, I messed up a step I have to actually click the floor, right click, simulation tags, rigid body you gotta change those both to rigid bodies, whichever you want to happen and now as you can tell it's bouncing all over the place I don't know why, because the floor is right there, that's why so now we gotta get the spear and just let it drop down. So now if we were to do that, you can see it breaks down the pieces and yeah. So that's basically how you break the pieces down if you wanna do it like that. But you can do it in all these sort of creative ways. You can actually animate it, but you have to bring it back down to the beginning of the frame and you have to reanimate it from there. So if you'd like you could like position it so put a keyframe here move down to another frame and I don't know maybe you could resize or whatever but if you want you can 
actually should have done the animation before. That's probably what messed me up. But just remember, you gotta do the animation before you add the rigid body. So that was my mistake. But anyways, you could do like let me just show you real quick. Delete the rigid body, and before you do the rigid body, you should animate it. So put a keyframe, drag it a few frames over. Where is it? And act like it's going through. Keyframe it, and then we right click. Then click simulation, raise your body, and this is what will happen. It is slower, but there is another way, but I forgot totally. But the the way you do it, it just moves and pushes through and bursts through. But it's really cool. So, anyways, yeah, that's how you basically use Strauzy. You can use it in all sorts of creative ways. You can use different shapes to break down it. And yeah, just have fun destroying stuff, I guess, with Cinema 4D Strauzy. And I'll put the link in the description for Thrust if you do not have it. And yeah, so this will work up to from Cinema 4D, R12 to R13 and R14. And yeah, so I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. And so, see ya.